In today's video, we're going to be learning about the index function. The index function is super helpful, and once you know how it works, you're going to be using it all the time. So let me hop over to our desktop here, and we're going to go ahead, and the first thing we're going to do is insert a gallery. And I'm going to set the data source to our gallery to my Lego set tracker list. Awesome. So I've got three items in here. And now let me show you exactly what the index function does, but we're going to do the functionality of the index function using another method that you might be using when you can really just use the index function instead. So if I want to get the first item or the second item or the third item, how I would normally go about doing that is I would insert a label. So I'll add in a little label here. And I'd go to the text formula. And if I wanted to get that first item in the gallery, I would say first. And then I'd say gallery one dot all items. Close the parentheses there and do a period and say I want the title of that first item. So I would be getting the Hogwarts castle. So that's the title of the first item. And if I wanted the last item, I would go use the last function and that would get me the last item. Um, if I wanted to get the second item, I could do something like get the first N, so the first amount of items. So I could say get the first two items in the gallery. So I'll do a comma here and put a two. So this gets me the first two items in the gallery, and I would get the last of the first two items. So I would get the last of the first two items, just like this. And now that gets the, first it gets the first two items, gets these two items, and then out of these two items, it gets the last one. So that would be the flying forward Anglia. And then I'm just getting the title from that item so that's right it's kind of weird it's kind of tricky maybe you've been using some type of method like this but the index function essentially makes doing all of this way easier so here's how we would do that with the index function i'll go ahead and delete all of this and this time we're going to do index and now i'll say gallery one dot all items and when I, so it's just referencing a table. It says, hey, what item do you, what table do you want to get the item from? And I say, okay, I want, I want to get an item from this gallery right here. And now it says, okay, I need the index. So I need what item do you want to get? And all I have to do, if I want the first item, I just do a one. If I want the second one, I do a two. If I want the third one, I do a three. Right, and this is a basic example, right? This can get more complicated and you, you can actually use this for lots of different things. But let's say I wanna get that second item. I'll just do a two, close my parentheses. And now, right now I'm bringing back that whole item as a record. You can see the data type is a record right here, which if you haven't ever noticed this before, it's very helpful. Um, they used to not have it, or at least I used to not recognize it few years ago I think but this is very helpful so our label right here wants text we're giving it a record so the index is going to return a record so that's important so if we wanted to get a certain field out of that record we could say title period dot title or we could do the price that's $14.99 it's the cheapest one out of all those Lego sets um, but again, if I just do title, then I'm getting that second item flying forward Anglia. And that is obviously much easier than doing it the other way, using the first n function and the last function and all this stuff, right? So if you need to get a specific item, then definitely using the index function is a little bit easier. And this can actually be used to uh, add row numbers to your gallery. So I'm going to do a video on that next so stay tuned for that video where we use the index function and some other functions to create a row number inside of a table so we would see hey this is row number one this is row number two row number three and so forth pretty neat 
Uh, let me know how you're using the index function if you found this helpful. Leave a comment if you want me to cover a certain topic. I always love hearing people's comments and they help me create the different videos that I create. And if you'd like more help or training, visit peakpowerapps.com. I'll put a link in the description below and have a great day.